I'm a high school student. Yuto Tanaka goes to a school where there are famous delinquents. Mika Akasaka and Yuzuki Nijima. They were feared as the Demon Princess of West Junior High and the Storm Princess of East Junior High, and they entered the same high school. And for some reason, they ended up in the same class. It sounds like you have an exaggerated nickname, Storm Princess. From my point of view, you look more like a breeze than a storm. The strongest person in this school is me, Mika Akasaka. Hmm. They say the weaker you are, the louder you bark. It seems that you're called the Demon Princess, but demons are hated and are always supposed to be defeated. You're not my enemy. What did you say? You've got some nerve. You know that everyone who ever said something rude to me ended up in the hospital? So I'm the first one who won't be sent to the hospital. I'm gonna show you who's better right down to your bones. Hey look, the two of them are about to fight. It's a battle for the top of this high school. Oh man, oh man. Um, if you're going to fight, could you please do it outside? We're in class right now. <laughs> the two of them tried to hit each other, but their fists never reached the opponent because I stopped them before they could. Who are you? Where the hell did you come from? I think it was... Tanaka. He's a geek who reads books all the time during break. By the way, he easily caught our fists. You guys are being loud. I want to take my class quietly. If you want to fight, do it outside. What a tremendous sense of intimidation. I'm so intimidated by this. Who the hell is this guy? Wow, that Tanaka guy shut those two up. I remember now. That's Tanaka from North Junior High. I heard that he single-handedly suppressed North Junior High, which was one of the most delinquent junior high schools in the school district. Seriously? He's so strong! Well, thanks for intervening, Tanaka. I can't remember the last time a class went so smoothly. No need to thank me. I was just doing it for me. But what they said earlier, are you a delinquent? I come from a delinquent junior high school, but I myself am a normal student. I was warning a group of delinquents who were making too much noise in class, and we ended up getting into a fight. I was fighting them back, and before I knew it, I was being treated like a delinquent. Oh, you're so strong, Tanaka. With you, we'll be secure from now on. Lunchtime. It was when I was walking behind the school building. Akasaka, were you waiting for me? Tanaka, how dare you do that to me just now? I'm not going to let you get away with this. I'm going to show my dignity by beating you here. Well, well, you're a bloodthirsty bastard. Why can't you just forget about the fight and relax during break time? Here's some cafe au lait. I'll share it with you if you want. You're making fun of me. I'll blow you away. Damn, no way. I can't believe that my concrete crushing kicks are so easily blocked. Are we done here? You can't even burn off the calories from lunch then. You've been on the defensive for a while now. Why aren't you fighting back against me? I've made up my mind and I'm not going to make a move. Aren't you annoyed that you're constantly being attacked? No, it doesn't bother me. Who would get angry if they got hurt from the thorns of a beautiful rose? What? The school bell will be ringing soon. You should go back to class, Akasaka. What's with the... Is he making fun of me by calling me a rose? But that's the first time I've ever heard a boy say something like that. Wow, my face is starting to get hot. Hey look, Akasaka is attending class. That's very rare. She usually skips class after the lunch break. She looks like she's lost her mind. Is it possible that she's in love? No, no, no. I think she's the last person to be in such a thing. After school, that's when I was about to go home. Tanaka, I've been waiting for you to come. Nijima, now it's you. Looks like you got rid of Akasaka. If I beat you, I'll be the top of the class. I'm sorry, but I have something to do right now. My sister goes to preschool and she's waiting for me to pick her up. If you want to fight, do it tomorrow or later. Huh, I'm a delinquent, remember? You think I'm just gonna back down and say yes? You will be defeated by me right here and now. That's why I've brought my friends with me. Come to think of it, the guys at school were saying that Nejima has a female gang. That's a lot of work for all of you. I may have fallen behind in the classroom, but I'm not having any more second thoughts. You're not going to the preschool where your sister waits for you. You're going to a hospital bed. My sister is waiting for me to come get her. Move, or I'll blow you off. <sighs> hey, sister, are you sure you want to miss this? If we all come together, we can beat up that geek. Will you guys stop? I can see it in Tanaka's eyes. We're completely outclassed. We're no match for him. This is the first time. It's the first time I've met someone I thought was stronger than me. But that fierce, beastly gaze. 
When I think back on it, for some reason my heart starts to pound. Sister, what's wrong? Your face is red! The next day at lunchtime, Akasaka comes to my seat. Hey, look at her. She's got a scary look on her face. So she's finally come to beat Tanaka in earnest. I can smell a fight starting here. She's hiding something behind her back. That's when I got myself ready. Tanaka, do you want to have lunch with me? You always eat bread from the cooperative store. I woke up early today and made you a bento. What? what? She didn't take out a weapon, but a bento. Why did you bother giving me a bento? I can't stop thinking about what you said to me yesterday. Because no one's ever treated me like a woman before. I couldn't stand it any longer, so I found myself here. Huh. The demon princess herself has turned quite slouch, isn't she? Nijima! The one you're holding in your hand is... It's a bento I made. They say that to win a man over. You must first win his stomach. I'm gonna make him eat the bento that I made with all my love, and I'm gonna take Tanaka's body and mind into my hands. What? Don't tell me you also like Tanaka! Of course! I was attracted to the strength of this guy. I'm completely in love with him due to his intense masculine charm. I had no idea that these two had a thing for me. I had no idea. By the way, she is totally in love with me. I can't believe that Demon Princess and Storm Princess have fallen head over heels in love with Tanaka. How strong is that guy? But that's good news for us. There will be no more fighting, right? There's going to be peace in this class. Tanaka, you should eat my bento instead of hers. I'm better at fighting, but I'm also a better girl. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Of course my bento is better than yours. Of course Tanaka would choose me. We were wrong. It was just a fight turned into a fight over a man. Which one is Tanaka going to choose? I don't know what to say. I can't pick a side. I'm hungry. I'll have both bentos. No way! He took both! Doesn't his indecisive attitude make things worse between the two of them? Oh, really? If Tanaka says so, I'm fine with it. In return, make sure you don't leave any food behind. If that's the choice you want to make, I have no objection. They obeyed him so easily. There's no sign of demon and storm. They've been completely smitten. After that, Akasaka and Nijima started to get involved with me every chance they got. After school, we'd go out together. On off, we'd go out on dates. The two of them have completely walked away from their fights. But Tanaka, he's going to have to choose one or the other eventually. I like both Akasaka and Nijima. I can't go out with just one of you. That guy, he said something outrageous. I'm sure they're gonna be mad about this. Well, if Tanaka says so, I don't mind. In the natural world, the strongest males dominate all the females. But don't forget to favor us equally. Of course, I promise. What the heck? No way! He's got away with women! And we're going out together. Well, a lot has happened. As Tanaka's girlfriends, let's be friends with each other from now on. Mm-hmm. Let's be sincere so we don't smear Tanaka's face. There was no more fighting at school, and we spent our time peacefully and happily. But I got jealous glares from all the boys instead. I'm Yuto Tanaka, a nerdy high school student with no friend. I don't have any friend in my class, and I always read books during breaks. Do you want to go to karaoke after school? That's a good idea. I'm gonna sing a new song. Oh, yeah. Tanaka-kun, do you want to come with us? It's been a while since we entered this school, but we haven't had a chance to talk that much yet. That's great! I want to know what kind of song Tanaka Kuhn sings. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to get involved with other people. So thanks for asking me, but I can't go with you guys. Oh, okay. That's too bad. Maybe next time. Tanaka Kuhn doesn't hang out with friends at all. He always says no whenever we ask him to come with us. Do you think he's got some kind of problem? Tanaka-kun gets really good grades. I think he doesn't have time to play. I see. No! To tell you the truth, I want to go play with them too. I want to go to karaoke and bowling too. But I can't. They'll get in trouble if they hang out with me. Whew. I'm all alone again. I have nothing to do, so let's go home and study. My grade is gonna go up again. Please, stop! A student from my school is being picked on. Is that Mizuse-san from my class? Why not? Let's go somewhere and play together! If you say no, you know what's gonna happen, right? A guy picking on her was a famous punk from a low-level high school. 
Violence and extortion are nothing special to him. Students from our school have been his victims. I can't just leave Mizuse-san, can I? Stop it. She's saying no. Huh? Who the heck are you? Don't you know that no doesn't always mean no? Her no means no. Don't you understand that? Mizuse-san, stay behind me. Tanaka-kun, you can't do this. I've seen you in the PE class, but you're not really good at exercises. You have no chance against such a frightening guy. Well, I've been trying to disguise myself. Hey, what are you guys talking about? You look like a nerd who is only good at studies. I'll show you that you don't need your brain but power to survive in this world. Gah! Who is he? He's too strong. His punch was so fast that I couldn't see it coming. Wow! He knocked him down so quickly. His super strength. I remember. You're Yuto Tanaka. You're the legendary punk jackknife from West Middle School. It doesn't matter who I am. Don't you ever do this kind of thing again if you don't want me to kick your ass again. Ah! I've heard of you before. Jackknife from West Middle School. So you're Jackknife, but why didn't you tell us that? Because there can be lots of consequences. I wasn't a punk to begin with. My sister was, so punks picked on me just because I was her brother. I kept on kicking their asses, and then I got famous somehow. I was tired of fighting, so after I became a high school student, I had a makeover and hid my identity. So, it wasn't because you didn't like us that you tried to avoid us? I was afraid that you guys could get in trouble if you get involved with me. Mizuse-san, please forget about what happened today. See ya. The next day during lunch break, I was reading my book as usual. I heard about it, Tanaka-kun. You're Jack Knife from West Middle School. You've been hiding that from us, right? Huh, how did you... We heard it from Mizuse-san. Just a slip of the tongue. Oops. No, no, no. It was obviously intentional, wasn't it? Oh no. They know who I am. They'll never want to be my friends if they knew I was always fighting when I was in West Middle School. I'm glad that you don't hate us, Tanaka-kun. Now, we can ask you to come play with us anytime we want. What? Haven't you heard? I was always fighting when I was in middle school. You'll get in trouble if you get involved with me. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. What happened in the past stays in the past. You're doing your best now. And we all want to be your friends, so we don't care if we get in trouble for being your friends. So, let's go and have fun with us, okay? Mizuse-san. So, this is karaoke. <laughs> Your reaction sounds fresh and funny. But I'm not good at singing. Actually, I'm really bad. No worries. None of us are good. Yeah, she's right. I've never got a score higher than 70. When you sing, it sounds like a totally different song, Takahashi-kun. Okay, let's play a game of the lowest score. Whoever gets the lowest score is the winner. What? That sounds fun! The first karaoke with my friends was so fun. They were all friendly. <laughs> Time flied. Phew! I had so much fun! Tanaka-kun, you were better than others who were really bad. I'm not sure if I should be happy or not. Hey, you guys seem to be having fun. Tanaka-kun, thanks so much for the other day, you know. I brought others today. I need to pay you back. Are they your friends? Then we need to kick their asses as well. The moment I heard his words, I lost my temper. I'll never let you hurt my friends. I don't care how many of you try. I'll kick all of your asses. Huh? You're putting a tough act. I wonder how long you can keep doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was really fast. Tell all the other guys in your school as well. If you try to hurt someone from our school, Jack Knight from West Middle School will come and get you! Ah! I think they'll stop picking on us. What's wrong? Why are you smiling like that? I'm 
I'm so happy that you called us your friends. I'm glad that you think of us like that. You know what? I recorded it. I'll never let you hurt my friends. I don't care how many of you try, I'll kick all of your asses! Oh! I want that data too! Me too! Me too! Stop it! This is so embarrassing! Yuto, you look a little different lately. Really? Do you think so? You were gloomy before, but now you look happy to go to school. Did you get a girlfriend? Not really. I made some friends. They don't care who I was before. Oh no, I have to get going. I'm meeting my friends at the station. Hi, you're here. Tanaka-kun, you're late. Sorry. And where are the others? No one else is coming today. You're the only one that I had asked to come. What? What does that mean? What do you think? <laughs> you're gonna be with me all day today. I used to be a nerdy loner, but now I'm having fun. This is me, Yuto Tanaka. I'm a nerd high school student. I usually read books for break silently. I think even a half of my classmates don't remember my name, but that's what I wanted to be. There is, however, a girl who always stands out. Hey, you know what? I got scouted for a model studio when I was walking down a street other day. I've already got it three times only in this month. I'm so tired of it. Yes, that's her. Misa Kondo is there. That's awesome, Misa! You're always asked to be a model! You've already worked as a part-time model, haven't you? Really? That should be a piece of cake to you because you got wins at the beauty contest of school for two years straight. Why don't you become a pro model after graduating? Well, that's not interesting to me, though. Girl students often flatter with Kondo. They do so because she's always at the center of our class. But also, you know her older brother is famous as a bad guy among this area. Yeah, it's easy to assume that her brother's gonna beat us up if we displease her even a little. If I were looking good and having such a bad brother, I would push my luck like her. Yes, as you see, Kondo reigns as a boss in this class. And one thing happened which revealed she was a really boss, no one could go against her. Alright guys, let's talk about what we're gonna do for the next school festival. What about maid cafe? Girls will be maids cosplay and we will be butlers. You watch too many animes, bro. How can we do that with a real budget of school festival? I wanna open Turkish ice cream shop. Have you ever seen that exciting performance of Turkish ice cream? What about the haunted house? I'm good at crafting props and sets for that because I'm in the art club. After our class had the tumultuous discussion, Thank you for your opinions. A haunted house got the majority vote after all. Alright, so why don't we hold the haunted house for the next school festival? Wait, I don't wanna do it. What? It's decided by the majority, though. A haunted house sounds boring. The idea is just another, you know? There's no creativity. Let's come up with more fashionable and bright, by the way. Um, well, can you give us some examples? Why do you ask me? Come on, who can bring such a turning over after everything has done? We've already decided to do after the vote. What a domineering queen. Come on, someone, say something to her. I can't do, though. It's easy to see that I'll cause a terrible end if I do so. Enough. Who can allow you to turn over after the vote is done? And you didn't even join the discussion. If you want to complain to the decision, present any alternative plan. Even a kid in kindergarten can whine just like you do. Gosh, he did it. What? What the heck are you saying to me? Who are you anyway, Mr. Creepy? Do you think such a nerd like you can complain to me? You gotta know yourself, nerd. You are the someone who should know yourself. That's enough to see you're pretending as a boss monkey in this class. Just making sure. My brother is a bad boy, so if I ask him, your head is going to be rolling soon. He's gonna beat you up as your ass hair won't be left. <laughs> okay, now I know you're just leaving it to others. You're making yourself fool by showing you're a bag of wind. What? You missed me off! I won't forgive you even if you apologize to me later! I'm going to my brother! She's gone. It can't be helped then. I think we should decide to hold a haunted house as voted. Thank you, Tanaka. Thanks to you, the discussion get done without troubles. If you didn't stand against her, it should have gotten prolonged. Aren't you afraid of anything, by the way? She's gonna bring her brother to avenge you. Yeah, she should. After school, something happened as my classmates are concerned. Hey, Tanaka, how dare you made a fool of me in front of the class? I brought my brother here, so you're done. You begged your brother as I thought. <laughs> uh, 
brother, beat him up for me. I hold nothing against you, but I can't refuse when my sweet sister asks. I'm sorry to you, but I'll let you get hurt a little bit. Wait, this guy, your face looks familiar. You should be Kondo, belonging to Gremlin. So, you may notice who I am. The sharp eye as a beast? You gotta be y Yuto Tanaka? Uh, what? Do you know him, brother? This is the son of the leader at Tanaka family. Our gang team has been taking care of them, so I can't go against. And this man has a various martial arts background since he's little, so, so I'm no match for him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize to you for my sister was rude to you, sir. Come on, man. You don't have to be such a polite to me. I'll see that she won't lose anything by this. Hey, can you raise your hand? Other students are looking at us. What a thoughtful you are. I appreciate you for this. What's going on here? I didn't expect Tanaka was a big man as my brother was afraid of. I thought he's just a nerd. I had hid this because everyone would be scared if they knew my real background. But my family doesn't do anything bad beyond loss. We work as a deterrent against bad guys who come from outside of our community and region. Mr. Tanaka, my sister should be having everything her own way at school by borrowing my power. I always warn her but she doesn't listen to me, so can you take care of her instead of me? You are such a nice brother, I'll think of it. After school on the next day. Hey Kondo, where are you going? What? I'm just going home. No you can't. You're a member of our class, so help others to prepare for the festival. Hey Tanaka, if you speak to her like that, she's gonna be... Fine. I see what you're saying. I'll help them just for a few minutes though. Did you see that? That Kondo listened to him honestly. Hey bro, how the heck have you done to her? Well, we had some things. Then we spent a lot of time for the preparation. Wow, did you make that set? You made a great work. I didn't know you were such a skillful. <laughs> there is nothing impossible to me. This is just a piece of cake to me. I think Misa changed somehow. She got like-minded. She doesn't take out on others anymore. Yeah, I think she changed since Tanaka said straight to her. She's friendly to us now. Other classmates seem to look at her in different way positively. Alright, it seems to be done. Our class is all set for tomorrow's festival. See? Now you look so enjoying though you seem to get bored. Yeah, I just want to make this successful because our classmates worked so hard and I did too. You're right. I'm sure the visitors will enjoy this. However, on the day of school festival, an unexpected trouble happened. Yo, yo, this is Kondo's classroom. How dare you and your brother had an attitude to us? So, I'll make your stuff trash for you here. <laughs> hey, my class is none of your business. If you want to revenge me, do it on me but them. That's not exciting enough. I want to do something more fun like destroying what you guys made with a lot of time. Let me crew all up here. This is my fault. My attitude caused this and the festival of everyone will be ruined. My brother is not here, so how can I stop them? Gosh, I can't do anything by myself. <laughs> What's going on here? Th Tanaka. I just came to see why it's so noisy here. Are you guys trying to throw cold water on our event? If you so, I won't let you do it. Get out of here. Who the heck are you? Don't try to be a hero, nerd. All right. I'll beat you up before crashing your classroom, hero. Yo, guys, get him. Well, well, don't you know that you aren't comparable with me? Uh, wow, he finished them by himself in a moment. I just know how to fight as a son of the Yakuza leader, just in case. I had a lesson for them strictly, so they won't show up anymore. I didn't know my family name was that useful. Hey, uh, thank you for helping us. That was so cool to fight them to protect us. I just want to keep this because I've seen you work so hard with classmates. Alright, it's almost time to open. I, I heard you protected my sister from bad guys. Misa has talked about you all day long since then. I thought I wouldn't let somebody who was weaker than me took her. But you are the one I want to ask to take care of her. Uh, thank you. After that, Misa asked me to go out aggressively several times, and we started dating. Since we started the relationship, she hadn't had an attitude as she used to be. Now, she acts like so adorable. Some things happen after that, but we're keeping the relationship happily. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm a uni student working part-time at a convenience store. Here's 36 yen for your change. Thank you. I'm serving customers with a smile today too. Smiles are included in the hourly wage. Well, I'd like to introduce you to a new member of our staff. 
Mizuki Onizuka. Hi. Mizuki, it would be nice if you could introduce yourself or something. What? Eek! What's the matter, manager? I don't like scary people. Between you and me, I was so afraid of her that I told her I passed the interview. What? Please take care of her, Tanaka. I'll raise your Arly rate a little. Mizuki, it looks like I'm your trainer. I'll take care of you. Okay. Say your greetings cheerfully and politely. Okay. I wonder if she's okay. Mizuki, are you seriously working part-time? My parents told me to learn the harshness of society. I can't take to be a cashier or anything like that. You're skipping work. Don't worry about it. You two will take care of it for me. Mizuki, it's working hours. And he's so scared of me, so I gave him a shot. Mizuki, it's time for you to go to work. Shut up! Can't you see I'm talking? I know. That's why I'm warning you. You should work while you're being paid. It's break time! Break time is already over. It is now time to work. He has a lot of guts, even though Mizuki is glaring at him. I guess he doesn't know about her. Come on! Let's be smart. You don't want to get hurt for 900 yen an hour, do you? I wondered why she is so aggressive, but it seems that she is a well-known rogue. You better think about your reply. If you challenge Mizuki, he won't get away easily. She's the one who's leading the Valkyrie. Did you say Valkyrie? Do you know about it? Valkyrie is the name of the ladies gang who run this area. They assemble in the parking lot of countless convenience stores. The leader of the group of demons is the one who leads the charge, aka Mizuki the Demon. I had no idea it was her. You know a lot. I don't care if it's ladies or men. Please get back to work. It's not about fashion. You want to get blown off? Would you be satisfied if you punch me? Well, if it gets you back to work, take all you want. Are you not going to punch me? I don't punch and provoke people. Alright, I'll do my job. What was that? I tried to hit him, but I couldn't. It's as if my body tried to refuse its own. Why? He's such a geek. She meekly backed down at this point, but in the end, her work attitude never changed. <laughs> She's slacking off again today. I need to manage it somehow. I haven't felt anything since then. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Hmm. Is Mizuki the demon here? Come on out! Come on! What the hell? Momozawa? What's Balalaika doing here? He's Momozawa of Balalaika? Do you know him? The motorcycle gang Balalaika is a genuine violent group from the northern part of the Kanto region. Among them, Momozawa is expert in fighting, who is also known as a demon hunter. You really know your stuff. What are you doing here? I'm not interested in looking at savage animals. Who the hell are you calling a savage animal? You've been on a roll lately. And Mr. Momozawa came to personally punish you. Mr. Momozawa, please do it. That's what it is. Don't worry, okay? You are famous because you have such a pretty face. I'll make you look even more pretty. Shoot! Momozawa is the strongest rogue around here. I'm no match for him. It's impossible to win. I wish I could just get my members to escape. But there's nothing I can do on my own. The guys at the store are... Well, that's not helping. I should have taken my job a little more seriously. Fine. I'll take you on. Come on. Sir, I beg your pardon, but please refrain from attacking our staff. What? What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? I don't want anyone to hurt my valuable staff. Valuable? What? What the hell are you? You just want to look cool in front of the girls. I don't intend to do that, but a convenience store is a place for buying things. It's not a place to get into a fight. You've got some nerve lecturing me. 
I'll smash the whole store! You're going to not only beat me up, but destroy our store? Are you serious? I'll make sure there's not even a trace of it left. You'll be out of a job tomorrow! <laughs> that's not good. I can't pay my college tuition. Hey, that's none of your business. I'll take care of it. Just back off. That's okay. I'm paid to take care of my staff as well. And I'm used to dealing with this level of people. What? Don't let you get away with it. Hey! He stopped the punch? I can't believe it. The only person I've ever heard of who can stop Mr. Momozawa's punch is that legendary guy. If you leave right now, I won't even call the police. How about we end this now? Tanaka? Who the hell are you? Tanaka? Don't tell me you're Tanaka. The Thousand Slayer? Do you know him? Three years ago, he was a lone wolf who created a legend of always winning and undefeated. The strongest rogue who defeated all the famous delinquents and disappeared. He is nicknamed the Tanaka, the Thousand Slayer. After his last great stand-up fight, I didn't notice because the surname is so common. But I didn't realize Yuto would be. I wonder who the hell he is. Tanaka, the Thousand Slayer? He's a retired man anyway. I'm lucky to have a chance to beat a legendary rogue. We'll blow him off. Watch out! That's not fair, you guys! You know what? It cannot be counted as self-defense if you can just run away. But when you said you were going to destroy the whole store, it's a different story! So this is self-defense! Ugh! He is too strong! What is this guy? A monster? Mizuki, manager, and the customers. Are you all fine? Donika! I'm glad I hired you! Why did you hide how strong you are? I didn't hide it. My childhood friend was a delinquent, so I often got into trouble with him. And when I fought people back, I became known as the strongest. It's nothing to be proud of. I didn't know that. After all, it's not good to hit people. Now I regret that, and I'm trying to keep myself quiet. What happened today is also a secret, okay? What is this guy? I thought men are only soft and weak, or strong but savage, but there are guys like him. I don't know what to do. I've never felt like this before. Welcome. Here is 55 yen for your change. Thank you for coming. Mizuki, I'm going to take out the trash. Can I leave it to you to arrange the items? Sure, I'll take care of it. Since then, Mizuki has become a hard worker and is now a mainstay in the store. I don't know what kind of change of heart she had, but she is very good and very helpful. Oh, Mr. Yuto, how have you been? I always say, you don't have to clean here. Even if you're a friend of Mizuki's, you are our customer. No, no, no. I'm just trying to make up for all the trouble I've caused you. Mizuki's team have become much nicer. They have been helping the elderly and cleaning up, saying it's for all the time they spent hanging around. Thanks to them, the other delinquents don't seem to hang around here much anymore. If you're going to be cleaning anyway, why don't you apply for a part-time job? There are still vacancies. No, no. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't want to lose my life. Why will you lose your life? Uh, you guys are never allowed to come here. I won't let you interrupt my shift alone with Yuto. Yuto? Now, please teach me how to place an order. Oh, yeah. It's time for you to learn. I'll leave you alone. He hasn't noticed Mizuki's feelings, right? I guess she is going to have a hard time. Six months later, I was surprised when Mizuki confessed her feelings to me. But the manager and her team congratulated me. My college life, which was supposed to be a plain one, is going to be a fulfilling one with a cute girlfriend. Give it back! She cries really easily. Hey, it's fun, right? You guys are doing it again. Jeez, it's Yudo again. Didn't you learn from your father not to make little kids younger than you cry? 
Shut up! You've always been so annoying! Take this! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! Well, here you are, Mika. If they mess with you, tell me again. Oh, thanks. But you two, you're hurt a lot. This will heal soon. See you later. He's so cool. I wonder if I can be like him someday. No, I will. I'm going to become a woman who is strong like Yuto and can protect everyone. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm a high school student from today. As expected, things have changed a lot in 10 years. I used to live in this town. But when I entered elementary school, I had to move for my parents' reasons, and I just came back this year. I heard that some of my friends from back then are in the same high school. I'm looking forward to meeting them. Yuto, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you since kindergarten. I didn't think we'd be in the same class in high school. There are a couple of guys in the other classes who know about you. I'm well informed, so I know them all. I'm just looking for a girl. Is she in this school too? I got it. What's her name? Mika, who used to live nearby. Her name is Mika Saito. Do you know her? Mika Saito? Is he talking about that Mika Saito? Oh! You've known Mika Saito since childhood? What? What's wrong with Mika? I'm not going to say anything bad. Give up on her. We don't live in the same world anymore. What do you mean? Don't be surprised. Mika Saito is the most powerful leader of the female gangs around here. No way! It's true! Many gangs and delinquent groups were beaten up by her. Rumor has it that when Mika Saito was getting to this high school, all the high school gang leaders in the city came to greet her. It's hard to believe, but it seems to be true. Oh, you suddenly believe it so easily! Because you see, she's right behind you! What? How long have you been here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yuto will do anything. Yuto! You're really back! Yeah, since this year. You will be here for a while, right? It's been a while since you've been here, so I'll show you around. That would be great. But I didn't know you really became the head of the gang. He's talking to that Mika Saito like a normal person. It's said that an ordinary person would bow down to her just by seeing her. Mika seems to be different than usual. Have you ever seen her looking so happy? No, I haven't. Who the hell is this Yuto Tanaka? The leader told me about you. I heard that you weren't intimidated at all. No matter how many people you needed to fight with, or even if they were older than you. Oh, you're talking about such a long time ago. When the president is in danger, you save her and leave without asking for anything in return. I was just shy. I heard that before you moved out, you had all the elementary school students in the city under your control. That's an overstating thing. So, what did the female gang do? Do you ride around on stolen bikes? No, they don't do that kind of thing. Really? I heard that they protect the school from delinquents from other schools and crack down on gangs that go too far. I heard that after I moved out from here, the area became very unsafe and Mika started up this female gang to protect the school. Oh, so they are the Gang of Justice. There is no justice for the gangs. Even so, I think it's admirable. You're protecting everyone. Oh, thank you. I also wanted to protect everyone like Yuto did back then. Like me? I'm so silly that I could only do it this way, but I'm really happy that you admire me for what I'm doing. By the way, I heard that they usually gather at the riverbed to play soccer or go touring to the mountain pass. Sounds fun! You are not a delinquent, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not. Then, it's my turn to protect you. Let me know if you have any problems. I'll be right there. Sorry to bother you, leader. What's wrong? 
I just got a call that some guys from a neighboring city are trying to beat us up. There are rumors that they have called for help. Why at a time like this? Yuto, I'll see you next time. Yeah, see you later. A few days later, I visited Mika's class. Um, is Mika here? I haven't been able to contact her since yesterday. She hasn't been here since yesterday. We can't reach her either. That's strange. Saito? Yes. She hasn't come for sure. Do you know anything? I don't know. It's nice to have peace, though. She may think she's doing well at school, but she's just a gangster after all. Eek! It's the teacher's job to protect the students and the school, right? And yet, the students are putting their bodies on the line because the teachers are unreliable, and all you do is talk? Yeah, you're right. Excuse me, I have something to do. I have to leave now. If the phone call Mika was getting the other day is the reason she is not here, she may be in danger if I don't hurry. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, darn. Those guys are so persistent. We're outnumbered. If we take three shifts and keep on attacking, you guys won't stand a chance. That's unfair. If you think that's going to stop us, then you must be kidding. I'm a smart guy and I've taken all precautions. I'll leave you the rest, leader. What? You called me to play with these kids? These kids are pretty tough. If you beat them up, you can do whatever you want with them. Oh, I can do whatever I want? You guys get out of here now! What are you saying, leader? I can handle it on my own. No, I'll fight with you. I said I don't need it. You've got school today. Don't mind to be late and just go to school. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm so moved. Prepare yourselves. I'll make you a housemate who makes me tea twice a day. Absolutely not. Am I done here? I love maids. Didn't you learn from your father not to make little kids younger than you cry? Yuto, why are you here? I have a friend who is a well-informed person. I just got a clue and ran around. Hmm? I've heard that line somewhere before. Ah! Oh, you're the one from that time. Didn't you move out from this city? Oh, you're the one from that time. I'm back this year, so I'm looking forward to seeing you again. You're back? Ha! <laughs> what a nerd is doing here? I'll take care of you. Ugh! He's too strong. What? He lost it by one punch. I didn't even see his punch. Leader, he's too strong. Guard, don't be scared. All of you, take on that guy at once. Yuto, ah! ah! watch out. We're all down? I got tired of all the trouble at the new place I moved to. So I thought I'd live quietly here. But why are you causing me troubles again? What do you want me to do? Well, I want to live in peace. So please pretend that you all lost to Mika. And don't bother other people again, okay? Of course! Oh, don't leave me! Hey, everyone. Are you okay? Ugh, yeah. Sorry, I told you I'd protect you. You're protecting the school already, so I'll protect Mika. He's cool! He's cool! He's cool! You haven't changed at all! And the next day at lunchtime... Hey, Yuto! I made lunch for you! Really? That's wonderful! Thank you! Uh, <laughs> Would you like anything to drink? I can give you a massage. I'll clean your uniform. We'll follow you forever. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Hey, you guys! You're getting Yuto in trouble. Stop sticking together. Get away from him. No, you can't keep him all to yourself. You don't even have the courage to confess your feelings. 
Don't be silly. You should do it really carefully and in a more step-by-step -step manner. I mean, why do you say that in front of him? All the gangsters are here and Mika Saito is like that, Yuto. What the hell did you do? I think I'll keep it secret. My school life was supposed to be quiet, but it looks like it's going to be a lively three years. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm an introvert high school student. What am I going to do when I get home? Today was another peaceful day. Nothing is better than an uneventful day. But incidents happen out of the blue. Hey, are you Yuto? Uh, yes I am. Okay, I've got you. What? Goodbye, my peaceful day. When I woke up, I was tied up. Hey, you're finally here. I didn't come here because I wanted to. I'm Erika Saishima, and I'm the leader of this gang. What does the leader of the female gang want from me? You've got a lot of nerve. You are indeed the leader of Kiaraman, right? Kiaraman? You mean that famous gang? It's a famous gang in the next city. I have heard that their poor behavior has recently begun to be noticed. You can't fool us with your gloomy appearance. We know you're the leader of the gang, Yuji Suzuki. Yuji Suzuki? I'm Yuto Tanaka. Huh? I'm afraid, but I think you've mistaken me for someone else. You're kidding. Hey, what did I tell you? I told you to bring Yuji. I told her so. I was told to bring Yuto. I was told it was Kensuke. Not even close. Looks like a mistake was made during the message game. I wonder if they use a smartphone or something. Um, I think you've got the wrong person. Can I go home now? I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Why not? We're in a war with Kiaraman. That's tough. That's why you're trying to get information about the enemy gang? You're smart. Now, what happens if you tell the whole world about what happened today? They're going to know you failed, and also, they're going to know you're trying to bring in their leader. Failure is superfluous, but that's the way it is. I'm going to let you feel a little pain and keep your mouth shut. I see. So you want me to keep my mouth shut? You can hate us all you want, but we're serious too. Even if I hold a grudge, what hurts hurts. In exchange, I'll grant you one wish. Anything. What do you want? I want you to let me go home. Anything but that. Well... Then marry me. Mary? Okay, that's fine. You guys, go buy me a marriage. Where can I buy a marriage? I never seen it in a convenience store. You idiot, marriage is available at the government office. Marriage? Who's getting married? You are marrying me. To be honest, you're my type. I like your face, your voice, and the fact that you're a little bit of goofball. Is it love at first sight? I guess so. If you'll do anything for me, will you marry me? Love at first sight. What is he talking about? Leader, he's taking advantage of you. Let's beat him up. Wait, he's going home. Anyone who touches him is excommunicated. Why? Do I have to tell you why? I don't get it. He fell in love at first sight. It's hard to hit a guy who likes me. What? But you'd better keep him quiet about our plan. No, that's fine. Why? Think about it. When you're being taken to the gang's hideout and the time comes to beat you up, can you say with a straight face, I fell in love with you at first sight to the leader of the gang? I don't know. It's useless to keep his mouth shut when he's got that much guts. It's better to politely see him off. I see your point. But you're really just saying that because it's the first time someone has confessed his feelings to you. Never mind, we will be fine. Well, okay, you do your home now. Oh, uh, what about my marriage? We heard your first wish to let you go home, so no marriage. We only ask for one wish. No, darn, you're right. Either way, you and I live in different worlds. Forget about me. I've seen him off. Okay. <sighs> oh, the leader is crying. I'm not crying. I just thought that I only see love at first sight in a girl's manga. It's your first break still, right? Let's drink tonight. We have melon soda for you. Two days later. 
now bring in the enemy stop brass. Well, they're so careful that we couldn't catch any of the top brass. Darn, the real ones are not so easy to catch. I've got one, but not from the top brass. Great, even a low rank gangster is better than nothing, so who's this? Hi, it's me. What are you doing here? I couldn't give up on you, Erica, so I found one of your guys and asked her to bring me here. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you that we live in different worlds? But I still like you. Stop saying it, it's embarrassing. I told you we're in the middle of a war. It's dangerous, go home. Then I'm even more worried. Can't we avoid a fight? Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. We would stop the fight if we could, but it doesn't work that way. According to Erica, the relationship with Kiaraman was originally non-aggressive. Recently, they unilaterally broke it in order to expand their territory. A number of our members were attacked by someone after one another. We were shocked when we finally found out who did it. So it was done by Karaman? Yes, we were outnumbered. We have to go on the offensive somehow. Above all, what's the point of being leader if you can't even avenge your own mates? I have to fight, no matter how many times the other side is outnumbered. Leader? Anyone who wants to leave can leave. It is foolish to fight a war we cannot win. I'm not leaving. Later, I'll follow you to the end. You guys. I understand what's going on, but if that's the case, I can't leave you alone. What? For the other party, it is a bad situation when you find out that they are the culprits of the wrongdoings up to now. The only way to cover up the crime is to beat Erika's team up. If they are outnumbered and strong, there is only one thing they will do. It can't be. They'll be coming in for an all-out assault any minute. Our men are saying that the Kiaraman are attacking us at once! Darn, we're too late! We're coming for them! Everyone, follow me! We're going to have to take this to the limit! Let's give them everything we've got! Let's show them what we can do! Yes! Yuto, I'm sorry you had to come here, but now we're leaving! Get out of here now! I'm coming with you! I told you I'd help you! Don't be silly! You're not a fighter! I'll go with you on my own! Huh? How did you do that? You don't have to get your hands dirty, Erica. I'll take care of it. Who the hell are you? Hey, long time no see, Erica. I missed you. I never wanted to see your face again. So are you all going on a picnic today? Then let's do it in the mountains. I like your guts. How about I, who will eventually become the king of this city, make you one of my lovers? The king of this city? You're a little guy with a little aim, aren't you? Who the hell are you? Don't be a pussy! Hey, hey, are you here to help Erica? It's hard for a gang who has a shortage of personnel. Well, there are so few of you. What happened? I wonder how you can tell such a barefaced lie. Well, I'll frisk with you first, nerd. Go home and cry to your mama. <laughs> Hey, what's up with this guy? Darn, don't get carried away. Wait, the way he fights, don't tell me he's... Oh dear, you finally noticed. Sure, I've changed a lot. But is it that hard to recognize? I can tell just by your name, but you were my underling. Are you Mr. Yuto? My underling's getting cocky, huh? This is... Because... <laughs> what the hell is happening? Well, I've heard of it. I remember you live in the city next until middle school. You know something about it? It was before I became a gangster, so I don't know much about it. The old Kiraman was much worse gang than it is now. But a guy who was not a delinquent or anything was able to blow them off in just one night. He even went to other gangs to beat them up to prevent the war. And even though he was the strongest and undefeated. How can there be such a monster? I couldn't believe it either. I thought it was just a rumor. No way, so the rumor was about him? I went to a lot of trouble to get them to behave. And now you, my underling, want to put the team back together again? You've ruined my peaceful life. Shut up! I was your underling a long time ago. I'm not afraid of you. You're retired. Well, 
Hey, you guys, get him! Uh, no, I think that's impossible. I wasn't told that he would deal with that kind of guy. Please do it by yourself. Huh? <laughs> You're so different from Erica, who had people following her even though she has a losing battle. Shut up! I'll beat you up! Cleanse your teeth! <sighs> wow, that was one punch! <laughs> hey, you guys all sit down right there. I won't allow anyone to run away. Yes, sir! You are now under Erica and her team. Anybody who has a problem with that, just tell me. No! Don't misbehave. Don't cause trouble for everyone in town. Yes, sir! He's too strong. Erica, I think you should be prepared for this. You can't escape from him if he's really in love with you. Oh my god. Oh, I shouldn't have worried about it. Erica. Yes? Once again, I fell in love at first sight. Please go out with me. I'd be happy to. I'm so glad. Getting your attention was much more difficult than winning a fight. And so I got a cute girlfriend. Uh, um, here, Yuto. I want to go on a date. Great. How about the aquarium? What? Okay. I got an okay. Yay. But what should I do? Erika, calm down. She has no idea what to do because she's been in fights all her life and she's never been in a relationship. I heard that the Karaman gangs have become quiet. Peaceful but fresh daily life seems to continue. That is me. An elementary school student, Yuto Tanaka was being raised by a housekeeper instead of his busy parents. Mr. Yuto, the most important thing to survive in this harsh world is power. As long as you have power, you can solve almost anything. The housekeeper, Reina Oniyama, is a former military soldier, the strongest mercenary who has been in many foreign battlefields. She used to often say that I needed to become strong. And to become a strong person, Reina trained me thoroughly. I honestly don't know how powerful I am, but I felt that I was getting stronger day by day. Mr. Yuto, you've worked so hard until today. I'm a little sad to see you go, but my role ends here. I put in all the skills I have. Now you should be good enough anywhere you go. This is where my new life begins. I was so excited thinking that, but... To my surprise, the junior high school I entered was one of the worst schools in my hometown. It looks obviously unsafe. Well, I can handle it. And then... Here, go buy some juice. In one minute, okay? I'll beat you up if you can't. One minute? I can do that. Even if I run as fast as I can, it'll still take me a minute each way. Hey, are you talking back to us? Looks like you need to be pounded on for you to understand. Hey, you want me to buy it for you? Huh? Who the hell are you? Acting like you have some kind of sense of justice. Well, that's fine. But if you say you're going instead of him, you have 30 seconds. If you don't come back in 30 seconds, we'll beat you up. You can run away if you want, then we'll just beat him up instead. What? You're going to give me 30 seconds? You're much nicer than you look. Okay. That's absurd. You don't have to go that for me. I... No problem at all. Come on, are you serious? I'm going to time you properly. You're just going to abandon this poor guy, aren't you? Well, that is also a funny way the story goes. There's no merit in saving this guy anyway. You ready? Ready? Go! And I ran to the vending machine and came back. Here you go. What? What the f- You came back in less than 10 seconds! That's impossible! This guy is inhuman! Well, Reina-san, challenge me to do even more hard things. Thank you so much! You helped me a lot! Don't worry about it. I've been taught to help those in need. Even after that, I tried to go to talk to any students who was in trouble. It's a school life. Everyone should have a good time after all. For example, helping a student who was being mugged. Come on, give me all your money! I don't have any money! Of course you have money! Are you kidding me? Hurry up or I'll hurt you! Hey, stop it! What the hell? Mind your own business! Such a hot-tempered guy. Sorry if I can't go easy on you. Ugh. 
damn, what the hell is this guy? He's so strong. Thanks, thanks for saving me. And also, I made delinquent students who were disrupting the class shut up. Hey, you guys, we're in class, so be a little quieter. What? What did you say? I can't hear you. Nobody's listening to you. <laughs> Some of us are taking the class seriously. Can you please be quiet? What? What's up with you? If you're going to go up against us, you better be prepared. You're the ones who are ready to fight, am I correct? Once you raised your fist, you can't stop it. What happens next? Well, you know the drill. I know I took some aggressive measures, but the delinquents in our junior high school basically don't listen to anyone, so I couldn't stop it. At the same time, I was also looked at as a weirdo. I continued to do all these things, and before I knew it, I gained trust from my classmates. Since Yuda's arrival, our school is in peace, isn't it? Yeah, he's been a big help, but he does something different, isn't he? Yeah, the other day. Hey, what are you eating? Is that good? Huh? Oh, this? It's field ration. Isn't that what soldiers eat? Yeah, you want to try some? What the hell is this? Normal lunch tastes way better. It's to quickly feed yourself up with nutritious. And also, this has all the nutritious needed for you. Why do you need it? You're not even a soldier. I also saw the other day. Hey, what are you doing, Yuto? I'm doing wall sits. I can see that, but isn't it exhausting? No problem to me. It's a daily routine. Besides, if I can train during class, it's kill two birds with one stone, right? You want to give it a try too? Um, no. I'll pass on that one. Yeah, he's quite a weird guy. But you can count on him. Yeah, but I wonder if he's okay. If he stands out too much, those guys won't shut up about him. And so it goes. One day, when he was enjoying his school life... You are getting too carried away these days, aren't you? If you want to stay safe, I suggest you don't do anything that will make me uncomfortable. Who the hell are you? What? You don't know me? This me? That is Misaki Akabani. She is the girl leader of this class. Akabani's brother is the leader of this school, so if you go against her, her brother will beat you up. That is why no one can get go against Akabani. I see. That's right. So, what happens if you go against me? Even you, with your lack of brains, can understand that. Nah, I don't get it. Hmm, okay. It seems like you're going to behave like that. Did you get things mixed up because you're a little strong? Doesn't matter to me if you regret it. Hey, hey, Yuto! The Akabani siblings are not a good idea. You should apologize before it's too late. That's right, if you're standing up for us, but that's also the reason why I don't want you to get hurt. No problem. It's not for you guys. I'm doing this because I want to. And a few days later, as expected or rather as declared, Misaki Akabani's brother, Ryugo Akabani, came to visit me. Are you Yuto Tanaga? I heard you've been getting carried away lately, so I wondered what kind of a guy you were. But look at yourself, you look so miserable. What do you want from me? <laughs> I've heard you are a fool, but it seems you don't even know how to talk to your seniors. I'll be happy to be your mentor. And you have to think about how you're going to be behave yourself once you see the pain that is coming. Okay. <laughs> this is all your fault. This is what happens when you disobey me. My brother's going to beat you up. Shame on you. Hey, hey, this isn't going well. But maybe if it's you, Toh. Do you seriously think you can beat me? I have a martial arts experience, but you don't, do you? Yeah, I don't. But if I had to say, I have military training. What? Well, never mind. I'll finish you off with a single blow. With a single blow? What? What? With one hand? Are you kidding me? Sorry, but it's real. Now let me go over here. <laughs> Learn from this, and you'd better behave better. Hooray! Thank Tanaka, he's done it! Yugo Akabane, I can't believe he beat him so easily! I can't believe it, what's with that strength? I can't believe he beat my brother, but maybe he's kind of attractive. Then, our school became more peaceful after beating Ryugo. It became more peaceful, but there came a different problem I encountered. Hey Yuto, I made lunch for you. Would you like to join me? 
I'm actually a good cook. I don't know why, but Misaki, Ryugo's sister, seems to really like me. She should have every reason to hate me, and not have any reason to like me. But, hey, looks like Misaki really changed. <laughs> but it's good that we are all at peace now. There's a new cafe right in front of the train station. Let's go there together after. Um, or do you want a place where we can be alone? What, what? Things going too fast. I can't keep up with all that. Don't worry about the small things. Love is supposed to run in a hurry. And one more thing to worry about. No, two. Yuto, I completely lost to you the other day. You're the one who deserved to be the leader of this school. What? I'm sure that. I can trust you to lead this school. Wait a minute. I'm not interested in that stuff. Well, I like this kind of things where you pass on your feelings to your juniors. Hey you, siblings don't listen to people at all, don't you? And also, the delinquent students came to me to saying they want to be trained. I'll do anything for you, Yuto. I'll even request by getting down on my knees or go buy stuff for you. So please, please train us. I'll go with you, Yuto, for the rest of my life. Ah, <sighs> how did this happen? But if someone else become a leader, maybe more people will show up to do bad things and they'll be even more troublesome. Okay, from today on, I'll be the leader. But you have to do what I say. Yes, of course! He's our new leader! Long live Mr. Yudo! Thank you so much! I'll be close to your side for the rest of my life! If Yudo's our new leader, we'll be safe too! Yeah, we can trust him! Congratulations, Yuto! If there's anything I can do, just let me know! I'll do anything for you, Yuto! Um, okay. This is how I became the leader of this school. It's some work, but recently I'm thinking that it's not so bad. It's not the school life I had imagined, but being loved by everyone, I'm having a meaningful school life.